morning, Plunge family. I can kind of see you. My glasses are fogging up. Whew. We are live at the first ever virtual opening ceremonies of the Alberta. Yeah. Hey, Sean. Yeah. It's virtual. Yeah. We're in our house. Yeah. It's 20 degrees. So I don't need to bundle up. Probably not. Okay. Okay. I'll be right back. Okay. Hi, Wilson. Thanks, darling. Yeah, you're welcome. Back in a sec. this again. Hello Plunge family. I see you guys. My name is Sean Burke from 96.3 The Breeze. Just gave myself a haircut. You heard correct. Gave yourself a haircut? Yeah. Bought some dog clippers the other day. Look at that. Not bad at all. Welcome to the virtual opening ceremonies for the Alberta Polar Plunge, officially dubbed the Plunge X Launch Party. It's very fancy. Yeah, and I'm thrilled to be here. This is going to be a lot of fun. Get yourself nice and cozy, grab a cup of coffee, nice cozy blanket, and enjoy the program. We're going to have a lot of fun. Now, normally, we'd be mentally preparing, for those of you who've been to the plunge before, mentally preparing for the incoming freeze minutes after this little ceremony. But today, jammies, coffee, on the couch, wherever you can get nice and cozy, that's how we're going to do it this year. And of course, safety has always been our highest priority when it comes to these events. And this year is no different. With the ever-changing restrictions when it comes to COVID, this year's plunges taking place virtually. Virtually. Remember that word, Sean. Yeah, thank you. Allowing plungers to create their video from home and share anytime until March 13th. So you've still got some time if you want to put yours together. Before we begin, we do want to acknowledge that we are on traditional territories in Alberta and many of the First Nations, Métis and Inuits, whose footsteps have marked these lands for centuries. We've got a star-studded lineup of presenters, including the infamous plungers, some government officials, law enforcement members, and special Olympians who will, they're going to help us kickstart our 10th annual Polar Plunge. Let's get things started. Are you ready to just shake it off a little? Wow, things kept moving. Uh, with our live band for the morning, ladies and gentlemen, put your hands together, virtually I'm sure somewhere they can hear you, for the Nervous Flirts. The Nervous Flirts, everybody, here they come.
Well, you've been getting down and out about the liars and the dirty, dirty cheats of the world. You could have been getting down with this sick beat. My ex-man brought his new girlfriend. She's like, oh my God, I'm just gonna shake it to the fella over there with the hella good hair. Won't you come on over, baby, with the shake, shake, shake. Yeah! Shake, 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 shake it off, shake it off. It's over and I'm still dancing. Hey, can someone just let me know when we're back? Is yes, there? We're back. Nervous, flirts, get in the party, rocking and rolling. Be sure to check them out online at nervousflirts.com. You'll also find them on Facebook and on Twitter. The Instagram, the gram is very popular. Why not book them for your next event? Huh? nervousflirts.com. Now, for those of you who have plunged before, like yours truly, I'm sure many of you have, it's an experience that lasts for days, if not weeks, months, and you know what? The feeling that it makes you feel inside is gonna last with you for years. But when you jump in the water, my wife and I dressed up as the girls from Frozen a couple of years ago, and I remember getting out of the water and just screaming, where's the hot tub? <laughs> needed the hot tub like you wouldn't believe. But what matters most is the impact we are making on the lives of those athletes of whom this annual event supports. And it's all about those smiles. That's what it is about for me. It's about the smiles. Every plunge makes a difference to more than 3,000 Special Olympics Alberta athletes. The fund raised benefit athletes locally and provincially by supporting their participation in athletic competition and wellness initiatives, even during the pandemic, there is a plethora of virtual programming that is happening right across our province, catering to all ages and a wide range of abilities. All funds raised at these events will make sure athletes continue to be supported. So thank you to each and every one of you. It means a lot. You're very, very good people. Thank you. Now let's get to our first guest speaker, shall we? She's been dedicated to supporting Special Olympics athletes. Last year, she got freezing for a reason. I was there. When she took the plunge at Arbor Lake alongside Calgary Police Chief Mark Newfeld. See, we did it here in the city, but they were down in Calgary. And alongside of Calgary athlete Leonka Kalua. This year, she's here bringing greetings on behalf of the province. Put your hands together. Virtually welcome, Minister of Culture, Multiculturalism, and Status of Women, the Honorable... Leela Ahir. Hi there, everyone. I'd like to acknowledge that Alberta is on Treaty 6, 7, and 8 territory. This land also has very deep importance for the Métis people of Alberta. I know how difficult it is that we cannot gather in person to celebrate the 10th anniversary of the Polar Punch for Special Olympics. Even though this year looks very different, I'm so glad that we can still support this wonderful organization and its athletes. This is the 10th year the Special Olympics has hosted this Polar Punch, so it's fitting that this virtual event has expanded its reach further than ever before. The virtual format also means that we can be way more creative with how we choose to take the plunge. Whatever way you're taking part this year, thank you so much for supporting this important cause. We all need to find new ways to stay healthy and get exercise, and by taking the Polar Plunge, you're helping Special Olympics athletes and yourselves to stay connected and stay active. I am looking really forward to joining you again next year when we can all meet across the shores of the frozen lakes across Alberta in the province to show our support for these incredible athletes. Have so much fun, everyone. 
Thank you so much, Minister Ahir, for continuing to support this great event and our athletes, and we're excited to see you next year taking the plunge with us. We'll be calling. Our next speaker is a Polar Plunge veteran, having hit the icy waters down at Lake Summerside here on the south side of Edmonton for the past three years. If you go talk to him, actually, his teeth are still going. He's writing you a ticket or something. He currently sits on the Law Enforcement Torch Run Executive Council, consistently supports his law enforcement members' involvement with Special Olympics. Introducing the Assistant Commissioner of Criminal Operations for the RCMP, John Ferguson. John, take it away. Good morning. Thank you for joining us for the launch of the 10th anniversary of the Alberta Polar Plunges, which proudly supports Special Olympic athletes all across our province. I am pleased to be here to represent the Executive Council of Law Enforcement Torch Run. Law Enforcement Torch Run for Special Olympics is the charity of choice for the Alberta Association Chiefs of Police, and we are so proud to support events just like this all across the province, all of which raise awareness and funds to support programs for individuals with intellectual disabilities. But LATR is much more than just a fundraising and awareness vehicle. The relationships formed between law enforcement members and Special Olympic athletes are like no other. When we made the difficult decision to suspend all in-person fundraising events over the last year, it was extra difficult because we knew we'd miss these in-person interactions and friendships. But with safety in mind, it was also an easy decision to make to help keep our friends and community safe. Right now, I would love nothing more than be huddled on the shores of Lake Summerside with many of you, waiting to plunge into those icy waters. Even though we are not able to be together in person this year, there is a silver lining. 2021's virtual polar plunge season provides an opportunity for even more people to take the plunge in any way they want and any time they want, all to support athletes in their area. So we want to thank Mr. Liu, Sentinel Storage and Tim Hortons for partnering with us once again. As well, I'd like to thank all the law enforcement members that have been hard at work planning and raising funds to support these athletes in their virtual programs. We have no doubt that Alberta will step up in a big way to ensure that they do not go without. If you have not signed up to take the plunge for Special Olympics, I want to encourage you to sign up today and support athletes in your area. Thank you for joining us for a 10th anniversary launch. I'm looking forward to seeing you all in person again next year. Thanks, John. We appreciate you, buddy. And speaking of appreciation, supporters are the key to making events like this a success. So we would be remiss if we did not mention and show a little appreciation to some of our major sponsors who've been with us for a long, long time. This year, thrilled to have the support of Sentinel Storage, Tim Hortons. A little coffee? Mm -hmm. Love me a cruller from Tim Hortons. Might be one of my favorites. And our platinum sponsor, Mr. Lou. Now, how would you like to win some goodies? Because here's the deal. Very excited to have 10 weekly draws this year in celebration of our 10th anniversary. And it's all thanks to our friends at Mr. Lou. This long-standing sponsor, the Polar Plunge, has generously donated 10 amazing fundraising initiative prizes that we're giving away each and every Wednesday until March the 10th. For all you plungers. People looking at me like, what? I didn't say it. <laughs> yes, you did. <laughs> Here's how it works. Each and every Wednesday between January 6th and March 10th, we're drawing for one of those prizes. One entry is earned for every $100 that is raised during the week leading up to that draw. So, each week we start a fresh new prize, and each week participants have another chance to win as they continue to fundraise. See what's happening here? Are you following along? Good. Now, thank you to all our sponsors who've supported us in the past, and we look forward to reuniting when we're able to go to outdoor events. Remember outdoor events? Those were fun. Speaking of outdoor events, just real quick, can we just give a shout out to these masks? These are wonderful. All right, speaking of plunging, we want to share some of the creative plunge ideas to inspire your upcoming plunge. Check out this one from Matt Burton. It's called The Mister. Take a look. All right, ladies and gentlemen, get cold, be bold, and be brave. Hit it. Way to go, Matt. He had a fire truck. Like, a big fire truck with, like, hoses and 
Hang on just a sec. Nick! He's calling my wife. Yeah. Hey, yeah. Matt just did his plunge and he had a fire truck. Can we get a fire truck? Like, can I buy a fire truck? Will it come with the fireman? Well, I'd be the fireman. It'd be no. Sean the no. fireman. No. Man. But thank you. Thanks, babe. Guess I'm not getting a fire truck. Speaking... Oh, I'll work on it. Speaking of someone who is dedicated to supporting the cause, look no further than our next speaker. He joined us at Lake Summerside in 2020. He was brave and bold as he plunged here in the city of Edmonton. This year, he's here to bring us greetings on behalf of the city. Please welcome Ward 3 Councillor John Zadick. I'm John Zadick, Ward 3 City Councillor, here on behalf of Edmonton City Council to show support for the 10th Annual Polar Plunge. Last year I participated in it, I jumped into the ice water, honestly my favourite part was getting into the hot tub after, but what I liked is how much money was raised for Special Olympics Alberta. Special Olympics Alberta ensures that everyone has an opportunity to participate, regardless of ability. Sports are a very important part of our lives. It helps us to stay fit, it helps us to stay connected with community, and it helps us build friends and relationships. The Special Olympics are warm and inclusive, welcoming of all, and that's what I really like about them. It gives all an opportunity to compete, regardless of ability, and it's important that we mark this occasion during COVID in this virtual manner because it's still an important fundraiser. It's important that we have this 10th annual event. And I look forward to the 11th annual one where once again, I will jump in to the ice cold water. Make sure you never jump into ice cold water unsupervised. I know we're all disappointed that we can't do it this year at Lake Summerside, but the city of Edmonton firefighters are reporting a 50% increase in calls to those that have fallen through storm ponds, such as the one behind me. It's just vitally important that you stay off of these facilities and you channel that effort, build it up, and let's do it next year. Let's do it next year when we can put on our bathing suits in a supervised fashion to raise money for the Alberta Special Olympics. We can do that and we can jump in the hot tub after with medical professional close by to ensure that nothing goes wrong. Thank you so much, John. I don't know if it's the lighting in here. I bought one of these fancy influencer lighting systems and I'm looking a little shiny. Makeup! Thank you. Thank you. Okay. Yeah, right there. Maybe on the sides of the nose so it doesn't look so big. Okay. And what about the what? rest of that? No. Okay, I'll, I'll go. That uh, just happened. Okay. Let's touch on safety a little bit, shall we? Like our plunge counterparts around the world, we encourage you to be smart, be safe, be careful. And for those of you who want to join in the virtual plunge activity, in whatever form your virtual plunge takes, follow all the applicable water and freezing water safety and COVID-19 protocols. Please have fun with it, but please just be safe. Now, let's shift gears a little bit, shall we? And share some of the most memorable plunges from the past 10 years with a little segment that we've dubbed Alberta's Funniest Plunge Videos. Alberta's Funniest Plunge Videos. Here we go. Up first, it looks to be a T-Rex, but they've got those little arms. How is he gonna swim if he goes under? Keep an eye on him. Keep an eye on him. He's the last of his kind. Now, up next, the solar plunge. Hang on a sec, where's the snow? They're running down a beach, where's the ice? What is happening? Why do I sound like Jerry Seinfeld? And then, lastly, it's the Dodge. Does that guy look familiar? Yeah, look around in the snow. That was not easy. And I only got, I only got maybe two snow angels in before I started to get a little bit chilly. And yeah, we've got a busy spring ahead of us. Two dogs in the house. Wow, that was fun, wasn't it? Whew. In all seriousness though, what a great montage of creative plunges from over the years. Now, we get excited to see what you've got going on. You can feel the hamster running around in there. You're like, hang on, I got some good ideas for a virtual plunge. It's our first ever. It's up to you to get creative. Have some fun with it. 
A virtual plunge means obviously that we're not going to be able to capture your freezing for a reason experience, but that means we can get creative with sharing your plunge videos with the Polar Plunge community. So, plungers, here's the deal. We want you to share your plunge videos by posting it to social media, tagging at Plunge Alberta on Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram, making sure the post is public so we can share it to all our different channels. Okay, so that's at Plunge Alberta. We're also asking that you send those videos through WeTransfer to info, that's info, at specialolympics.ab.ca. The videos that we receive are going to be uploaded to a 2021 virtual plunge website. That's coming soon, and it's going to make a community of virtual togetherness, which is just awesome. I love this. From the warmth of your home, your home office. Supporters can get involved by sharing our content with your friends and family on social media using at Plunge Alberta, hashtag PlungeX, and hashtag Polar Plunge Alberta. Okay? Now, our next speaker is one of LETR's biggest supporters. In 2019, she won the Provincial LETR Athlete Award. This year, she was nominated for the LETR International Athlete Award for her dedication, as she makes sure to attend all events in her region with that smile, with that big smile on her face. She is a Special Olympics Red Deer athlete who has participated in many sports, from five-pin bowling, to powerlifting, golf, athletics. Please, please join us in welcoming Eileen Mundorf. Eileen? Hi, I'm Eileen. Special Olympics been in my life for at least 14 years. I've been in bowling, track and field, golf, and powerlifting. It's been wonderful. They do everything for me. The coaches inspire you to do the your best you can do. And I love it. Going to lots of games is, is so much fun. And a lot of first men touch run, they've been they're so grateful to me and I'm so glad what they can do for us. All they have all the events are so fun. And all the law enforcement officers are also smiley and friendly. That's why I love them so much. They do everything for us. They make sure all the athletes are doing best in their sports. And they like to make sure they do everything they can do for us. I'm so grateful for that. I, I'm just so fun, like, like I'm so caring, I love to help for anything I can do. Okay, thank you. Thank you, Eileen, and thank you for your commitment to LETR. And you know what, you're right. They are an incredible partner of Special Olympics and continue to raise funds and awareness for athletes right across the province. So thank you. Now, our next speaker is one of the famous faces of both Special Olympics and the Polar Plunge. He's known for making a big splash, hitting as many plunges across the province as he can each and every year. Yeah, he doesn't just do it once. He goes to multiple events. He kind of likes it. <laughs> We're thrilled to introduce Special Olympics Alberta CEO Johnny Byrne to help us celebrate 10 incredible years of freezing for a reason. Hello plungers and plunge friends. I am thrilled to be helping to kick off the 2021 polar plunge season in Alberta, otherwise known as Plunge X. Yes, this is the 10th anniversary of the polar plunge. We've had 10 years of amazing plunges, amazing stories, and most importantly, support for Special Olympic athletes across Alberta. I can't thank our law enforcement partners enough. They continually go above and beyond to support Special Olympics and be partners of inclusion and supporters of our communities. Uh, I'm just trying to think back to the many amazing stories I've had in the 10 years of plunging. I plunged with a stormtrooper. I think I went about 20 feet under in Lethbridge last year, surprisingly. I've done it in Edmonton, Red Deer, Medicine Hat, Lethbridge, and it's been awesome every time. One of the great privileges that I've had as CEO 
is that I've got the plunger of some amazing athletes. I'm thinking of Lianca, Connor, Jen, lots of different athletes who are some of the best plungers around. So thank you all so much for being part of our plunge season this year. It's going to be a bit different. It's virtual. I can't wait to see the fun videos that are out there. But one thing is going to remain consistent. The money raised is going to support Special Olympic athletes across Alberta. You're helping to make a difference. You're making an impact. And it's going to be an awesome year. I can't wait to roll out my plunge plans for this year. So stay tuned. Have fun out there this year. And thank you all for supporting Special Olympics. Thanks, Johnny. Appreciate it. Now, there have been some incredible moments over the past 10 years. And we cannot wait. Cannot wait to see what you've got planned for 2021. And for those who don't have access to a fire truck, I'm still working on it. We've got a family meeting planned a little later on. For your virtual polar plunge, we've asked Special Olympic athlete Morgan Butt to show us his idea. He calls it, I love this, it's called the drop. I could feel that, Morgan. I could feel that. Job well done. <laughs> now, while we're not able to be together for the plunge this year, it is one of those events that allows us to connect with others right across the province with the shared goal of making a difference in the lives of athletes with disabilities. Our next speaker is the Vice Chair of the Southwest Region for Alberta, LETR, here to share greetings on behalf of the L-E-T-R operations. Committee is Constable Dwayne Wist of the Medicine Hats Police Service. Good morning, everyone. As Sean mentioned, I am Constable Dwayne Wist with the Medicine Hat Police Service, and I am proud to serve on the Law Enforcement Torture and Operations Committee as Vice Chair for the Southwest Region. To say that 2020-2021 fundraising year has been a challenge would be a significant understatement. But as with many challenges we face on a daily basis, we have learned to adapt and overcome. From making the very difficult decision to shut down all in-person events to creating new virtual events, our law enforcement members across the province have stepped up to continue raising funds and keep connected with these hardworking athletes. The Polar Plunge is our signature event. And even though we were faced with strict gathering restrictions, we knew that canceling our biggest fundraising event of the year was definitely not an option. One thing we all have grown accustomed to in the last 10 months is change. So we forged ahead with the 2021 Polar Plunge season with a new and exciting format. The opportunity to take the plunge in all areas of the province in whatever way you choose, your way. We are so thankful to the many plungers, volunteers, donors, and sponsors that have supported the Polar Plunge in the last 10 years. And we look forward to many more successful plunge seasons to come. On behalf of the Law Enforcement Torture and Operations Committee, I wanna thank you for joining us today to officially kick off another amazing Polar Plunge season. And we look forward to seeing all your great plunge videos. Be creative, have fun, and most importantly, be safe. Marley kept scratching at the door. He just wants to say, say, say hi, Marmar. Mar. Oh, Wilson wants to say hi too. Hi, everyone. Okay, say thank you, Dwayne. Thank you, Dwayne. Thanks, Dwayne. And you know what? There you go, buddy. There you go. We couldn't agree more. The pole, hey, you guys, tone it down. Go play out in the hall. I'm trying to work. <laughs> the Polar Plunge serves as the largest fundraiser for L-E-T-R each year, and we're calling on all our plungers and supporters to help us raise funds and awareness now through March 13th. Now, who's in the mood for some tunes? Let's throw it back to the amazing live band for this morning. Raise your coffee cups one more time. I, I got a water bottle, and it's empty. <laughs> or the nervous flirts, woo! Just a small 
on because I can't see without them. Ah, there we go. The Nervous Flirts, everyone. Keeping the party going this morning. Be sure to check them out on social media. Find them on Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, and on their website, thenervousflirts.com to book them for your next events. And with that, Plunge X is now officially underway. Thank you for joining us to celebrate this milestone, and we can't wait to see all of your videos over the next couple of months. You've been challenged. Now it's time to start thinking about something fun, something creative, something exciting. Thank you so much to all of our speakers, our plungers, our sponsors, and everyone who continues to make the Polar Plunge a success. Make a splash by visiting the website, www.specialolympics.ca slash, you know, the slash Alberta Polar Plunge. 
Thanks for having me. I appreciate you asking. My name is Sean Burke. You can check me out weekday mornings on Edmonton's Relaxing Favorites, 96.3 The Breeze. Bye! See you at the next plunge. <laughs>